Hey y'all, just finishing up the lunch run. While it was not quite this warm this past weekend, we had a great time camping at Dockery Lake in the North Georgia mountains. We even got in a trail run on the Appalachian and climbed Blood Mountain. We made a lot of great memories. Weather got down into the low 20s overnight, but we were ready. We had the right equipment and we had a good attitude. And that's really the key. Amongst the anticipation of adventure is preparation. Barry had a great time washing the truck, but then we had to get down to business. With my wife and I both working full time, we typically split packing into three days. We'll start with hardware, the tent, air mattress, stove, fuel, chairs, and tools. The next day, we pack our clothes and we save food for the night before we leave. Not only does this spread out the workload and the stress, but also gives you time to think about what you might need. And like us, you may wind up leaving less behind than if you tried to do it all the night before. But the day comes and you're on your way. Dockery Lake is located off of the scenic Highway 60 on Forest Service Road 654 in North Georgia, between Dahlonega and Suches. And once you arrive, you are welcomed with the stunning sights of a Georgia mountain lake. Our two-year-old was drawn to the water instantly, despite the cool weather. But it wasn't just the water. Our human nature is innately drawn to such beauty, and Barry is no stranger to the wonders of nature. Finding its way around Dockery Lake and taking in its many angles is the half-mile Dockery Lake Loop. Fishing spots dot the shoreline along the trail, and a couple bridges ford small streams feeding the lake. It's a relatively gentle and wide trail that makes a lovely stroll for those of any age. But after stretching your legs from the drive, some work must be done. So we set up camp while Barry busied himself digging in the gravel before he settled in for an afternoon nap. See that? You got a load of gravel. That's awesome. Once Barry was down for his nap, we took in some extra time along the shoreline before setting to work on the chores of camp life, primarily firewood collection. But the nap was short-lived, and Barry woke up with renewed vigor, ready to lend a helping hand. Do leave the electronics at home, but don't forget to pack the toys. Though he may not be off building forts on his own yet, this is a vital step in the building up of a child to be comfortable in the natural world. For now, these are his tools to interact with the world around him. And before long, it was time for dinner. Tonight was hot dogs, chili, and coleslaw. And I think everyone is enjoying it thoroughly. <laughs> oh yeah, you got your car. Right? I got your car. 
<laughs> good morning. We had a good first night here at Dockery Lake. Got a little cold down into the 20s, but we stayed comfortable and warm all night. Uh, when we're car camping, Brielle and I use big uh, uh, canvas and, and flannel sleeping bags. And Barry, in any cold weather scenario, has his Morrison outdoor bag. It's, I uh, believe, rated to 20. So he was inside that and then inside our bags in between us. So we all stayed comfortable and warm all night. Uh, we're just finishing breakfast, had some instant oatmeal, some coffee and tea, and about to take a walk around the lake. Rather than walking, Barry asked to ride his balance bike around the lake. We weren't sure how he'd fare on the trail, but he did great. His skill on this bike is improving nearly every day, and he had a blast. We wound up making several loops throughout the day. Between lake loops, we had lunch, collected more firewood, and got in some light reading while Barry napped. Dinner was grilled sausages with peppers and onions and roasted red potatoes. And of course, there were some more lakeside walks before bed. Alright, go for it. Me? Yeah, you're filming. You're filming, bud. Me! Hey, hey, Barry. Hi, Mama. Hi, baby. Hi. Barry's grandparents joined us for a couple days at camp, so Saturday morning we decided to take advantage of our babysitters and had them shuttle us to Lake Winfield Scott, where we began an incredible point-to-point -point trail running adventure. We wound up with just over 13 miles and 2,900 feet of gain while taking the Gerard Gap Trail to the Appalachian Trail, where we headed north climbing Blood Mountain, the highest point on the AT in Georgia. We then turned around, heading back south along the AT to the Dockery Lake Trail, which led us back to camp. And when we returned to camp, we had worked up an appetite. Dinner was cheese tortellini with meatballs, artichoke hearts, spinach, and red sauce. Well, our time here has just about come to an end. Thanks for joining us and hope to see you next time. Well, we just got back from our long weekend at Dockery Lake, and it was a great time. Barry had a good time. We all did. We ate well. Papa we, and Nanny. Papa and Nanny, his grandparents were there for a couple of days. They had good time together, made memories, uh, and, and it was uh, a lot of fun. Highly suggest you checking out Dockery Lake or any other place that's near you. Bye-bye.